Hey guys, Brian here at thebasscast.com. Got Jim Short, co-angler winner, right here on the Potomac River, the FLW Costa event. Three day event, sunny, rain, sunny. We had it all. Talk to us about the three days, man. How'd your practice go for one thing? I didn't, I didn't practice. I you lived, didn't practice, uh, okay. I live three hours from here. Okay. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving at four o'clock in the morning for Maine. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm, I've got a, a big tournament up there in a couple of weeks. Um, so I'm going up there tomorrow, uh, give it two or three days of practice up there. But I, I, uh, I've been on, on the river enough to know what works for the most part. Okay. And when you're sitting in the back of the boat, uh, it all depends on who you draw. If they're not around fish, you ain't catching them. That is very true. Yep. What were some of the tactics you used this week on the river? Okay, uh, day one uh, was all about uh, the wood. And I caught most of my fish on the jig. Um, and uh, it was uh, it was calm and sunny and, and uh, pretty nice. Day two, uh, we had the uh, storms coming in. Uh, it got pretty ugly in the afternoon. Uh, but uh, uh, when the tide turned, we went on about a 30-minute feeding frenzy. And uh, I got three bites. Uh, then uh, I only had four bites yesterday. And then today the wind came up, but uh, uh, the temperature, the water temperature right. was down probably 10, 11 degrees, and uh, and I think it put the fish in a funk. Uh, I had four bites today, and it was just enough to uh, cross the finish line. That's awesome. Now, you're like, what's some of your setup that you had? You know, fishing the river, you know, you always got a setup just a little bit different than you do fishing the lakes. What's some of the, you know, your line, reel setup it's, that you use? Uh, when the water's dirty like this, I don't think it makes a difference okay. as far as line size. Uh, what, uh, what really makes a difference is where you put your bait. You understand that uh, the water is flowing, it's either going this way right. or it's going this way. And uh, when it's going this way, it's flooding the shoreline and those uh, the, the uh, bait fish, the forage, the crawdads, they're all moving up with the rising water. The bass uh, have come to know that uh, they don't have to eat. They just wait for the water to come back out and it brings their, uh, brings their breakfast, lunch and dinner to them. So, uh, to this uh, this week the tides were were awful. Uh, okay. We had a, a low tide, probably at seven o'clock uh, on the first day, uh, eight o'clock on uh, yesterday, and probably almost nine o'clock today. Um, typically on uh, on a tidal river, it's two hours before low tide and right. an hour after. Um, you just you got you got to let the fish tell you what uh, what they want, and, uh, and when it's when it's tough like this, you just got to grind them out. All right, and you told someone it's a long time coming earlier. I heard that. Is this your first big Costa win right here? Uh, Costa, it is. I won a bass tournament uh, one time. Uh, I've come uh, lots of second and third. Uh, I finished second uh, from the front of the boat in an Everstart championship a bunch of years ago. Uh, but this is, uh, this is my first FLW win. Well, congratulations. Thank you for talking to us, and uh, look forward to seeing you again.